Hello everyone, welcome back to BFX 51 second and welcome back to another exciting Unreal Engine tutorial. In today's video, I will show you how we can take our environment or scene to the next level. Like we always do the basic light setup like direction light, exponential height fog and all these things, all the basic stops. But there is one more tool that take your scene to the next level like this. We will make our scene from this this keep watching the full video and i will show you how to do that this is too much easy and this is completely free and inbuilt inside the Unreal engine 5 so before starting the video don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for more upcoming videos notification okay don't forget that so without much further ado let's start the video now So here you can see my small scene setup with a snow mountain and some forest trees okay and for the light setup i have simply basic light setup that we all use that is direction light exponential height fog post process volume to control the lights okay sky atmosphere skylight and volumetric cloud this light setup technique we all use everyone everyone use this okay so what we can do much more than this and also let me tell you for the fog we are using this exponential height fog here okay so this is the basic fog so let's make this scene to the next level okay so here i have all the light setup so if i go to my place actor okay if you don't find this in case if you don't find this option just go to windows and click on this place actor okay and you will see this option okay so just go to visual effect and here you can see there is a new option in Unreal Engine 5.4 local fog volume just below this exponential height fog now if I drag and drop this in my scene suppose like this here you can see there is a small fog volume let's press it here okay and let's see what are the options I can see here so if you see this is small sphere actually okay you can see this sphere so let's increase its size here first in the scale like this then i will place this down something like this so now i can control lots of things here like radial fog density height fog height fog fall off and lot more things so let's tweak all these things okay so first i'm going to control this by lower its value like this okay and then uh, actually i want to increase its scale a little bit more like 10 okay yeah it's fine for me then radial fog density is 0 0.07 okay now let's tweak the fog density height fog density if you increase its value it will be look like this guys okay so control according to your scene okay so i'm just keeping this like here and height fog fall off you can see if you increase the value it will go down if you decrease the value it will go up okay Th this is a middle part just see what i'm doing now i will increase the value so this is like the lower half of the circle and if i decrease the value it is like full circle okay so let's keep it here now height fog offset let's see what this does if i change its in value i am unable to see anything more let's see later what we can control maybe after some more option we can see the changes okay so i will keep it here and then here we have scattering distribution you can see okay and the most beautiful part is here the albedo color and the emissive color okay here if i click here and I can change its color to anything okay like anything okay so you can change its color here and if I go to my fog emissive and see suppose I will keep this color to green and the albedo color to red okay you can see the changes now okay so for now let's see what's more option we have and how to use it so for now i'm going to keep it here and decrease its value a little bit 
left just like this okay so what i'm going to show you now is how to place it in your environment and make it beautiful make your scene beautiful okay so see i'm just copy and paste all this in different places just like this and also one more thing guys let me tell you you can also rotate this okay like see you can see you can also rotate this in any angle so by rotating how can i use this suppose i have rotated this like minus 30 minus 30 okay and now i will place it just at the slope area of the mountain like in this area okay and this will look so beautiful okay so you can see here local volume one two and three we have three volumes here also we can drag and drop here again one more local volume and i'm gonna change it to like 10 okay and i will keep it here something like here yes here and let's uh, rotate it a little bit like this and decrease its fog density okay so guys don't skip the video this is not the end you are going to see much more than this okay i have just drag and drop and changing its value there is lots more things just wait and watch okay so i will keep it something like this and one more one more here will be better drag and drop here and increase the size like this and i will decrease its value the fog density like this okay, i think that's that is good and one more i want to keep it near the camera with lower density just like this okay let me arrange all this local volume in one folder right click select this all right click and move to create new folder and i will rename this as uh, sorry something like fog volume okay so you can see this before and after before and after okay so this is not the end we can do much more thing now so if i go to my exponential height fog and if i go down here we have volumetric fog you all know okay just enable this and see the magic not much more difference here we can do much more changes in exponential height fog okay so let's do that like increase the extension scale i will decrease its value a little bit like this and start distance and near fade distance yeah this is fine for me and if you want you can increase its value like 0 0.1 okay and let's keep it here this will be like this okay now you can see the difference okay and i think uh, this one local volume 6 near to my camera i will increase its value a little bit just like this and and, and let's uh, yeah this is fine so also guys you can see some god rays here so in this angle we cannot see too much so let's change to my another camera okay this one let me change the light direction first like here okay and i am going to place one more fog volume here so i will go to my place actor select this visual effect and add fog volume just drag and drop here and increase its density like this and see guys just look at it look at it guys look at it sorry this is simply awesome okay so here you can change its values now like this and here you can change the four density of fall off 
I think this much is okay. I want to rotate it a little bit like this. So let's try duplicating it and place it something like this. And also guys, as I said, we can change the albedo color of this fog. So if you select this and go to shading, here you can see the fog albedo. Let's change both this color, but we can see. If I select this and change it to something like orangey, reddish kind of color, you can see the changes. This look beautiful. Okay, and let's change the light direction to check how this is looking. This is beautiful. This can change your scene to the next level, I guess. And if you want to do experiment for the first time, then you can just go to any of the volume if you have multiple volume in your scene and just change its color, something like this. And the another volume color will be something like this. So I think this albedo color of this local volume is too much helpful and in my suggestion i think if we have something city kind of environment and in the night scene and we are showing that in the top view something like top aerial view then we can use this fog in colorful way then it will look good i think okay i will try to make a video on that so this is for today's video guys if you like this video if this video is helpful for you please do comment in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for more upcoming Unreal Engine tutorials and videos. So see you again in the next time. Have a nice day.